Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about The Mandalorian, uh, even though neither one of us has watched... You haven't watched it, have you? No, I want to. I just keep not having time to. Neither one of us has watched season two yet, because that's how interested in this show we, we are. Uh, now, we did like season one, but I think you know, what's going on is just you know the Star Wars burnout. Like, Star Wars is not must-see TV or movies or anything for us anymore. It's like we get to it when we get to it, and frankly... We have so little time to watch TV. We want to watch TV we know we're probably going to enjoy. Right, and like not... the alien shows or the paranormal shows. <laughs> yeah, right. Or the baking shows. Or the snow, <laughs> uh, you know, local news. I don't know. Anyway, we just haven't gotten around to it yet. I've actually been watching at Squid King's suggestion watching Raised by Wolves, which is actually really good, but I can't watch that around Geeky because it's also very violent. And, yeah, uh, I, I was informed I would not like the show. You would not like the show. Okay. No, it's it's cool, but you would not like it. Uh, so let's talk about this because we we have been talking about Pedro Pascal and the drama surrounding uh, the situation with his helmet. Um, <laughs> okay. There's a joke in there somewhere. Yeah, there is. And now the rumor is that. Uh, Possibly Boba Fett was brought in as a backup in case. Well, I've been hearing that they brought the actor, the Boba Fett actor, that they've signed him from different things to do different shows and have it. Because they're, they're talking about that Boba Fett show and then talking about tying him into other stuff too. I've been hearing that. And let's remember that The Mandalorian, as we understood it, was a reworked version of a proposed Boba Fett movie. Mm -hmm. Um, but then after Solo bombed at the box office, they're like, let's just do series instead of movies. And they eventually brought Boba Fett back into it. So we'll see. I don't know. Uh, before we get into it, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, we're over 160,000 subs. Woo! Thank you for the support. Hoping for 200,000 soon. And uh, check out our merch store at shopclownfish.com. You've got five days yet to order these pins. And mm -hmm. when they're gone, they're gone. Uh, so check it out if you want to make sure you get some some miniature versions of us. Do they have any more of the first friends left? Or uh, I think there's like a dozen left. Okay. Because uh, what they do is they, they get, I guess they order a little bit extra in case there's any issues or anything. They have some extras. So what's there is there. Um, we have some that we saved here that yeah. might take to a show sometime. But other than that, that's that's it, guys. Yes, yeah, so there might be like they might order like a hundred more beyond the initial run, um, and they might offer them later. Like this one was out of the shop for like three months, and then mm -hmm. they put it back up for Christmas. But I that's just because they had some. Left yeah, there. they just happen to have some. So I, I don't know. I don't know how many of these are going to be made. So if you want a set, you're going to have to pre-order a set. So let's uh, talk about the Pedro Pascal situation okay so pedro pascal of course you know there's been a lot of talk about uh politics and pedro and gina carano and we'll talk about gina carano here in a little bit too but that seems like that's dominated a lot of the talk about the mandalorian but before the politics um dominated all the the talk about the mandalorian it was whether or not pedro pascal rage quit in the middle of the show mm -hmm. Now, that rumor came from rooster teeth's very own <laughs> grace randolph who put that rumor out there a couple months ago and said that Pedro was having a hissy fit. About the mask. About the mask. He wanted to be unmasked. And again, you know, you look at superhero movies and those characters spend a lot more time without a mask or a helmet than they do, um, you know, in the comic books. Right. Because the actors want the face time. You know, if you read Spider-Man comics, most of the time Spider-Man has his mask on. Spider-Man movies, they always find a reason to get the mask off of Spider-Man, mm -hmm. you know? Right. So... I can understand that from like a branding point of view to make sure people know it's you, but that's not this character. That's not how that's supposed to work. And, you know, this rumor was spread like wildfire. Again, I think it was Grace Randolph who I'm started pretty sure it. it was. And then we were like, I hope it's not true because it's kind of crappy behavior if it is. Well, now she also said in her, her initial report, she said that she heard there were problems, but about halfway through the season, there's a huge shift in the show, and that could be the introduction of Boba Fett. Um, as I wonder, I gotta wonder well, if. I don't know, I haven't watched it, so I need to. It, well, I gotta wonder if Boba Fett isn't the backup. Backup Boba. <laughs> uh, backup Boba, because we can still call it the Mandalorian and have Boba Fett in it, I That's guess. That's right, yep. You know, as long as you got somebody in a mask that That's looks cool. And Baby Yoda, as long as you got Baby Yoda, that's it. So, yeah. So, uh, again, just to go back to this rumor, just a real quick recap. There are multiple videos out, 
out there about it. She said that uh, Pedro Pascal wanted to have his helmet off. Uh, the Mandalorian creative team wouldn't budge on this. And so Pedro Pascal, this is coming from Grace Randolph uh, via Bounding in the comics, says, from what I've heard, the two sources now, um, two sources now verified it, it, was that he was so frustrated about it. It was also pretty darn uncomfortable in the Mando suit, so he became difficult. Uh, so apparently he walked out or was shown out. That's the story. Now, fast forward, and somebody tagged in Grace Randolph. <laughs> there was an interview with Pedro Pascal on uh, UK News on UK TV. And this journalist flat out asked him, what's the deal? Uh, we heard you were having a hissy fit about uh, your helmet. That's not exact wording, but you're, <laughs> you're paraphrasing. <laughs> and look at his face. Watch this. He was like, oh, what the hell? <laughs> that is that is some shock. Yeah, uh, I'm here to talk about Wonder Woman, not the Mandalorian, but okay. But he flat out said that's not true. Well, let's uh, hope it's not true because we were like, we're hoping, we, I mean, even when we covered it, we're like, we hope this is not true. Um, least, yeah. Because that would be stupid and weird that he would be like acting like that when you knew you took, you took the role that Mandalorians are supposed to take their masks off. So it, it didn't make sense. We're like, so we hope it's not true. Yeah. And look, I mean, this is like the only bright spot that Disney Plus has going for it. Mm -hmm. If the dude either wants to take his mask off or he wants more money, you just throw more money at him. You know, or something like Disney would do something to keep him. But, um, you know, you got to wonder if Boba wasn't brought in as a backup. But, yeah, he's like, it's not true. Uh, he's like, basically. Yeah, he like, acts surprised. But I don't know. I mean, I'm sure he's heard the rumor before. And there's no way that he didn't because yeah. he's made other comments, I think, before. But he, I think he was surprised he was asked the question in this interview. <laughs> yeah, because he's like, wait, this is just some dumbass uh, Internet rumors. So Grace Randolph replies. My report, which I stand by, was in support of Pascal, and he handled the question as a problem. Was he, it? Because you were talking about how he was having a hissy fit and storming off the set. Yeah. Well, she works for Rooster Teeth now. Uh-huh. So uh, she's got to play ball. She's got to play ball. Um, a lot of it. I just hope Star Wars treats Pascal like the asset he is going forward. Well, was it okay to just refer to people as assets? But the asset is, is Baby Yoda. Well, that's what he was uh, supposedly pissed about. Um, now this is, um, his response if, you know, and I'm not going to play the clip cause they'll probably demonetize this cause they're petty bitches like that. Uh, so we're not gonna play the audio, but, um, he talked about the Mandalorian keeping his helmet on as a clear creed and then bounding in the comics points out there are many instances where they kind of violate that. So whatever, but, uh, I think he had a talking to, if I had to guess, and you know, it could be that Boba was, was a backup. They brought Boba Fett in halfway well, through. Well, now I think Boba Fett's probably getting his own show. Yeah, well, of course he is. Right. I mean, he should have in the beginning with. Every remotely popular side character gets a show per Kathy Kennedy. That's right. And you get a show, and you get a show, and you get a show, and wait, what's your show? Alternate universe that no one gives a shit about, and you're, and you're not straight, and you're a woman? You get a big show with a big announcement behind the Bob's backs. Behind Bob's, the Bob's backs. Uh, Ugnaughts on ice. That's what I want to see. <laughs> the carbon freezing chamber. But after oh hours, God. the carbon freezing chamber. <laughs> Ugnaughts on ice. Ugnaughts on ice. Uh, it's a love story. <laughs> it's like Yuri on ice, but with, okay, with shorter, uglier people. Yes. <laughs> um, There's representation there then. They be porking. They be <laughs> that's a tagline. What happens after hours? Oh, no. Bespin. Happens in Bespin, stays in Bespin. Baby Porkins. <laughs> anyway. You know, I bought an Ugnaught figure when I was a kid before I saw The Empire Strikes Back. And I didn't know what the hell it was. I just, I'm like, Piggy Man, that's pretty cool. <laughs> with, the, with the dress I got, because he had like the smock. And I didn't know what the carbon freezing chamber thing is. So I thought he had like a lunchbox. <laughs> <laughs> because he was a pig and he was fat. So I'm like, it's a little fat kid with a lunchbox. I didn't even know what he did. I was just like trying to guess because back then, you know, it was before the internet. And I'm trying to get like, I hadn't seen the movie yet. And I'm like, well, here's a card. And it shows him in like fire or something. And he's got like a little lunchbox. I don't know what he does, but it's a pig man. I got to buy him. Actually, I think I bought him because they were out of all the good figures. Anyway, um, so, yeah, they're talking about the Mando getting sidelined in favor of Boba Fett on We Got This Covered. So take it take it for whatever it's worth. Um, but I guess Boba Fett's armor got a new paint job, and he looks more action figure 
Yeah, I'll have to catch Toyetic. it. But I do know that there's a lot of talk out there that, um, how do you say his name? Tamar, how do you say his name? Oh, Tamar Morrison? Tamar. I can never yeah. say his name right. I don't want to butcher it. That he's being brought in for, I think, more than one show, like, to appear in different things, to tie it all together. So that's what I've been hearing, at least a Boba Fett show for sure. Yeah, which I'm okay with, because he's he's pretty badass. I mean, I, I, I like Morrison, and I, I liked him in the prequels, but I like the prequels more than a lot of people like the prequels. But mm-hmm. anyway, so here's here's the deal. This is coming from, again, Grace Randolph. Stop listening to Grace Randolph. So she's just like, I don't know. We'll see. Um... She said it was weird that they're shooting Boba Fett now because originally Boba Fett was supposed to be scheduled for season three. And and I guess this is how she's... It's not weird. They're trying to spin Boba Fett off. Right. And that's why they're bringing like Ahsoka. And this guy reminds me of Doctor Who where, you know, they started like it was obvious that they were padding out episodes as like backdoor pilots. Mm -hmm. They had the Sarah Jane show. They had the Torchwood show, you know, and they just like like all these episodes were like, oh, this is just an advertisement for a a spinoff. This is what this is, you know. Um, but yeah, so he was supposed to be in season three, uh, but they're shooting Mando season three. But it stars Boba Fett. Remember, I told you that Pedro, the of the Pedro Pascal dramas. Well, I thought you sources. said you were on his side yeah. and you were never saying he did anything wrong. We should just make up your mind there, Gracie. Well, she said it had not been resolved as of a few weeks ago. I think given the look on his face and how he was like, I love Disney and all the people I'm working with, you know, that it's probably been resolved probably with green stuff. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Who cares? But yeah, they're everybody's talking about Boba Fett now. They're all like, oh yeah, there's that other Mando that was like budget cut Boba Fett. Now we got actual Boba Fett. Yeah. So fuck that guy. Pretty much. <laughs> you know, we got Boba Fett and Baby Yoda. So so screw the Mando. So yeah, I mean, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. But uh, these are all, well, I, I don't know. I don't know. We get people come to us all the time. We try to disclaim things as rumors if we can't verify them sometimes we don't even do videos about it because we're like this is really iffy like the he-man situation like it was like oh yeah we didn't do a video until uh kevin, kevin smith, smith had a, a meltdown out. on twitter and then we're like oh really over a tweet because we didn't even do a video about no it. and it was like i hope it's not true that's what we're hearing but it might, we're hoping it's not true and that set him off into this major meltdown on twitter and at that point it was like well now you have our attention because why would you if it wasn't true why would you care why would you care so much so uh, yeah and then one other thing you wanted to put in here just because just because since we're talking mandalorian gina carano because again now there's more drama around the mandalorian uh the politics of gina carano and Pedro Pascal, because they're both on opposite ends of Right, the, but they get along. They get along fine. They Apparently, they get along fine. Imagine that. Imagine... Like real people. Like actual people. In the real world. Uh, they don't live on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, right. Get off of Twitter. But they're saying that she's actually incredibly popular now. It, she's the second most popular star in the world. Now, I don't believe that. Well, but according to uh, IMDb. IMDb. Um, they said uh, Carano has climbed up to the upper part of IMDb imdb's top star meter because folks are enjoying her performance on the mandalorian or maybe they're drawn to her profile due to all the negative press she's getting like gina Cron, who's that oh that woman from the mandalorian okay um plus you know the politics too uh you're gonna have a, a pretty vocal um you know part of fandom support you or be against you or whatever anytime you take any political stance right you know. but you're allowed to have your opinions and it's like if you're but you know twitter Sure as hell wants to celebrate everybody who agrees with them, but if anybody disagrees with them, they should be canceled. And the whole thing is just to try to bully people into always always agreeing with them. And I think people are just getting sick and tired of it, like Gina Carano. Look at this. Pedro Pascal also stood behind her. Yeah, we, Look we at knew that. that. Look at that. Look at that. Like adults. Um, so I don't know, guys. I mean, this is a pretty wild rumor. Again, they're both seemingly coming from Grace Randolph. <laughs> and uh, you know, maybe she'll maybe she'll have to come up with another it's one. A tale of two graces. A tale of two graces. Uh, first, he's getting gone. Now she's like, no, no, that's not what I meant at all. But pre rooster you know. teeth, post rooster teeth. Uh, d- yeah, no, seriously, that's the difference. Pre R and Po R. <laughs> pre rooster teeth, Grace Randolph, and yeah, post uh, rooster teeth. This is what happens, you know. This is what happens. Now you got a backpedal because you're playing ball of Hollywood. Mm-hmm. All right, so we're gonna wrap it up. Yep. All right, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.